Hello and welcome to day 20 of the 21 days of yoga. One more day and the program is going to be over. Thank you so much for being here, practicing with me, sharing your practice with me. And today we are going for a very restorative practice, I would say. So definitely we're going to move slower and we were going to go actually into the hips. And in my opinion, this is the best part actually, because you're going to feel so relaxed at the end of the practice. Okay, if you're ready, hop on your mat, we start into child's pose. So, uh, bring the knees as wide as your mat, big toes are touching, and then as much as you can, send the arms towards the front of your mat. And in here, you can either bring your forehead on the mat, you can either keep your head above the mat, or just use one block and place it underneath your forehead. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good, and now just send your hips a little bit more towards the heels. And then soften, letting your chest go a little bit more towards the ground. Relax the shoulders, the muscles of your face. As we were going to move slower through this practice, I'm inviting you to sit with whatever you're going to find uncomfortable. I'm going to invite you to find, to invite softness into the body, especially to those areas that may feel tense. Hmm. Okay, take a moment here, notice how are you feeling. Okay, let's stay for one more breath. Exhale. And now just lift a little bit on your palms and you're going to take your right arm and you're going to place it underneath your left arm and leg. You're going to sit on your shoulder. Left arm can go above your head or wherever, wherever you feel um, feels good, okay? Or you can even bring it behind your back. Okay, let's just stay here. Three full body breaths. Noticing every sensation that's going to show up. We are here to notice, to observe, to listen and feel. Because this is how we learn. This is how we build awareness. Okay. Come back towards the center. And let's take it to the other side. So take your left arm, place it underneath, in between your right arm and leg. Sit on your shoulder. Okay. And just notice what's available for you right now. What's showing up. And also feel the sensations through the spine, shoulder, and even the lower back. Okay. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Now come back towards the center and uh, let's meet into tabletop position and we go for five rounds of cat and cow so make sure that in here you bring your palms under your shoulders knees underneath the hips and start by lowering your abdomen open up the chest breathe in okay hello spine exhale round through the spine chin into the chest good breathing in opening up exhaling rounding through the spine Okay. Hmm. Exhale, and we have two more on your own, linking the movement with the breath. Good, last one. Exhale. Okay, and now come back towards the center, tabletop position, and I want you to extend your left leg. Okay, and from here, you're going to turn your right leg towards the right side of the mat, and you're going to come into this side plank. But from here, I want you to come up and make sure that your left foot stays actually parallel with the right foot. Send the arms up, 
and then grab your right wrist, breathing in, lengthening through the sides of, of the body, and then exhale, very gently fold over to the left, giving your right side a big stretch. Now, see if you can send your eyes up towards the ceiling, pull the abdominals in, and if you see yourself, if you see your hips falling back, please pull abdominals in and then send them forward so you can have your hip on top of the knee. Good, one more breath. Okay, exhale. Now you can bring your right palm down and we take side plank, left arm goes above the head. And in here, please send your hips forward. You're gonna start feeling the glutes, then you know you, you are doing it right, actually. And if you wanna go for more intensity, you may lift your left leg. Okay, let's stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to step with your left foot all the way towards the front of the mat into this low lunge, send your arms up. Exhale, relax your shoulders down. Okay, hello. Right hip flexor. You got this. Hmm. Pull your abdominals in and really squeeze your inner tights. Now bring your palms all the way on the mat and move your foot at the edge of the mat. Your toes may actually be on the outside of the mat and both of your arms are coming through the inside of the leg. And we are here for this lizard, but for the moment I want you to stay on your palms and make sure that you find the land through the crown of your head. Because we're going to be here just for a couple of breaths and as this is going to be the first one, we are more here to inquire how are we feeling. Hmm, okay, good job. One more breath. Exhale. Okay, now step back with the left leg and we take it to the right side. So extend the right leg, turn your left foot over and then, yeah, side plank. And from this side plank, we are coming up now grab your left wrist, breathe in, lengthen, exhale, very gently fold over to the right and keep sending those, those hips forward. I stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, time for that side plank. You choose your option here, either with the foot down, either you send it up and again, Hips are going forward until you can feel the glutes. Yeah. And the right toes are pointing towards the face. You hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now find your way. Stepping with the right foot at the top of the mat. Arms are going up for this low lunge. Okay, send the hips lower. So any amount here in the depth of the pose is enough. And if you start feeling your hamstring and the hip, that's it. That's it for you. And please just really be where you are. This is the most important lesson. I'm learning this lesson, I guess, every week, not just in this practice, but in everything that I'm doing and I'm trying to create. And being where you are uh, is authentic, right? Sharing. What you know is authentic instead of just focusing on what we don't know or what we want to achieve. We really forget to celebrate where we are and the best things are coming from that place. Okay, one more breath here. And then exhale, release your palms down, move your foot at the edge of the mat. Let's take this lizard for just a couple of breaths, bringing in lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, okay. Now, if your mind is wandering around, just bring it back here. Good. Okay, now you're gonna step back into this 
tabletop position. Maybe move your palms a little bit further and let's meet into down dog. Press, press down, lift your hips up and maybe walk your dog a little bit here. Okay. Whenever you feel ready, find your way into downward facing dog and stay still. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Send the right, send the left leg up. Let's start with the left side today. Okay, left toes are pointing down. And then exhale, you're gonna step at the left edge of your mat. Okay, right knee goes down. And now we come into this lizard. And from here, there are options and yeah, what you can explore. You either stay on your palms, you either can go on your forearms or maybe you can use your blocks, okay? Or you can be halfway there, one forearm on the ground and the other, the left palm can stay on the mat, okay? It's a really good option actually to be halfway there. Okay, now I really want you to make sure that the left knee is pressing towards the shoulder. Okay, no, I'm not making it easier, right? But you got this. Really trust your breath to guide you into the body, to allow yourself to relax, even though you may feel uncomfortable. Good job. Okay. Let's stay for one more breath. And now you're gonna come back on your palms. If you're not already there, you may use your blocks here and just send the hips backwards for this variation of a half split. Okay, left toes are pointing towards the face, both arms to the inside of the leg, breathing in, lengthening through the crown of your head. Exhale, send the chest down towards the ground. Good, good. Okay, one more breath, exhale, good, send your hips forward and now you're going to bend the right knee, you're going to grab your foot for this king lizard, okay, and now in here, in between your palm and your foot is going to create a tension, like the one is pressing into the other one and I want you to use this actually to pull as much as you can towards the body and the left shoulder is going to come back and you gently rotate and you open up your chest up towards the ceiling. Okay, stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, release your foot down, remove the blocks out of the way and let's meet back into down dog. Okay, Ooh, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Now send your right leg up. And here we go. We take it to the right side. Step at the edge of your mat. Bring your left knee down. Untuck your toes. And choose your option, either on your palms, or maybe you can stay for a couple of breaths on your palms and then you can go deeper into what's available to you. Or if you feel ready, you can just take your blocks or all the way down on the ground. I just love to use blocks. Oh, I'm in this season of my life that I really love props into practice. <sighs> and it took me a while actually to really learn this lesson of using the props. And now I'm more like into, yeah, bring them all. <sighs> Make sure that the right knee is pointing towards the shoulder. I know, but let's just stay for five more breaths. Good, 
last breath. Exhale. Now come back on your palms and from here you're going to send your hips backwards for this half split. Good. Now the right hip goes back, the left hip goes forward. You're going to feel it into that right hamstring and just land there. Like when you are really curious, this is how you, I want you to actually be curious about every sensation, no matter uh, the quality of it. Maybe it's like a really good sensation. Maybe it's like something you don't like, but no matter where you are, just remember that even when you really like a sensation, you can really drop out of being present there because that sensation may be really familiar, right? And when, when you feel tension, you can actually drop out just because you don't want to feel it and you're going to start fidgeting. But the most important part is just to allow yourself to be there without the need to actually solve or fix anything, but to allow yourself. Can you imagine doing that in your life? Yeah, into unpleasant situation, but also in, into really, really happy situations. Can you bring a little bit of awareness and presence actually into that? Observing yourself and the others. Okay, send your hips forward. Whew. And let's take this king lizard. So bend your left knee this time, grab the foot. You may use the block under your left palm just to find more land here. Okay, hold towards the body, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now release your foot on the mat. <clears throat> Remove the blocks out of your way. <clears throat> okay, I'm losing my voice. Press down, press back to down dog. Maybe walk your dog a little bit here. Good job. <clears throat> and now bring your knees on the mat and then send your legs to one side and sit down. Extend the legs in front of your body. Bend the left knee. We go into a seated forward fold. So send the arms up and then exhale and fold. Remember that you can always put a little bend through the knee. Just stay here for three breaths. Okay, good job. Come back towards the center. And now let's switch. Send arms up, exhale and fold. Okay, good. I know these four seated four or folds are like challenging, or at least for me they are, because I have tight hamstrings. Going to the gym also adds a little bit of tension there. But at the same time, it's the biggest muscle huh, we have on the muscles of the legs. I mean, there this is the biggest muscle and in, it needs a little bit of stretching. Okay, now come back towards the center. And from here, I want you to bring your right leg in front of your knee and then the other on the left leg over the right leg. Okay, make sure that you have some space here for both of your sitting bones to be on the ground. Okay, you either stay here, maybe you, this feels like a lot. Otherwise, I want you to send your arms up Left palm goes down and you give yourself a really big stretch to the right side of your body. Okay, so you, you fold actually to the left side if your, right, your left leg is on top, okay? Okay, let's stay here just for five breaths. And very gently rotate the rib cage a little bit more up towards the ceiling and just do that by sending the right shoulder back. This feels good. 
it's challenging but good and I really love this this particular pose because it's really stretches stretches the outside of the hip and that's a really challenging place to get into so hmm, that's why let's switch okay let's take it to this side let's see if this side is a little bit more tense or maybe more relaxed than the other one remember you you can just stay here or send the arms up and this time you're going to fold over to the right Whew. so for me it's definitely more it's i feel the tension hmm. breathe Two more breaths. Exhale, good job. Okay, now release your legs. Maybe swing the legs side to side a couple of times here. Okay, that was my hip in case you heard something. And before going into Shavasana, I want us to actually take a bananasana, it's an in pose and we're gonna stretch the entire um, side of the body, but I really love it because it opens up the side of the hip. And remember, as I just told you, this is the side of the body, the part of the body that we are not going into that much. Okay, you're gonna just lay down on your mat and from here, you're gonna send the legs over to the right. Yeah, so you're gonna be on the exterior of your mat. You can bring your left foot, which I recommend, on top of your right ankle. And then the arms are coming above your head on the ground. And then you're gonna move in your upper body just a little bit towards the right side. As you can see, you are taking this shape of a banana. Now to add a little bit more intensity, grab your left wrist with the right palm and gently pull towards the exterior. Now you can feel this big stretch through the entire left, left side, right? Okay, now see if you can relax the hip a little bit more towards the ground. Hmm. Good, stay here, allow yourself to feel Noticing if anything shows up just because of this big stretch. Noticing how does it make you feel. And as much as you can soften. And yes, you can soften in the middle of a tension. There is always some space there for you to soften. Every pose, every situation has two sides. The strong one, the soft one as well. And yeah, we want to work towards finding a balance between them. Definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like 50-50 but at least we can be aware of both of them. Okay. One more big breath. and then come back towards the center. And just for three, no, let's say five breaths. Let's take a Shavasana. It's not gonna be the final one, but before going into the other side, I want you to close your eyes, breathe deeply, and just feel the differences between the sides of the body right now. So how is the left side? How is the right side? Okay, one more breath. 
Let's take you to the other side. Gently open your eyes. Now move both of your legs over to the left and your arms over, okay? And the upper body is moving a little bit towards the um, left side, okay? Now grab your right wrist and gently pull with the other arm. For more intensity, right leg comes over the left ankle. Okay, now it's time for you to relax a little bit more towards the ground. So if you see your, if you see your right hip coming up, I really want you to adjust maybe a little bit your body so you can send it down because you want to have your lower back on the ground. Okay, this is big. Now, am I right when I'm saying that this pose is actually inviting you to soften? And if you don't, I mean, if you feel like this is a light stretch, see if you can send the legs a little bit more towards the left or your arms and just adjust yourself. We are taking a shape, the shape of a banana. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but oh, we are going towards a shape of a banana. Long in the breaths here. And that was John. I think he just, I don't know, had a dream or something. <laughs> I don't know if you see him on the camera on this video, but he's here very close to the mat. Like he's not watching me. I feel more like he's my bodyguard. Okay, last three breaths. You got this. With each breath, just let go a little bit more. And now very gently find your way into Shavasana. Take, your, take a moment actually until you find your Shavasana. And make yourself really comfortable. You may even cover your body with a blanket. And now take a deep breath in and a big breath out. And just let everything go away. Relax every part of the body, every muscle, every cell, your mind. And just allow yourself to be here in this space. No more doing. Just being. And as always, I'm going to recommend you to stay five, ten minutes. That would be actually great. Thank you so much for being here, for sharing your practice with me. I hope to see you tomorrow on the mat, last day. Don't forget that you are amazing. Don't forget to acknowledge yourself for showing up. It doesn't matter how many times you showed up. I'm Alexandra. Hope to see you tomorrow. Namaste.